you might be coming across a problem where uh, you're running a monitor that might be 144 hertz or higher, but uh, seems to be running at uh, 60. Now, you know, can fix it by probably running something in the way of a DVI cable, but uh, that might actually cause the same still, or still might have the same problem. So it might be something in the way of adjustments that you need to do in the settings with Windows 10. But pretty much if you come across, go to uh, settings, hit down systems, show up on display. And if you go scroll down to the bottom there, it says advanced display settings. Click on that. Now you might need to make sure you click, make sure you've got your monitor that you want, that you want to be running on um, 144 hertz. You see I've got the problem with running at 60 hertz. Of course, you know, got the other monitor, 22 inch monitor as well as me primary. And I know that I won't be able to do any more than 60 hertz with it because it, uh, it's because of the size. It's usually 25 inches or larger that uh, get a higher uh, refresh rate, basically. So if you yeah, go back to the, what I'm doing, um, yeah, so if you make sure you select the monitor you want, hit display your adaptive properties for display 2 for the particular display you want. And you can see here is tab here monitor you see the screen refresh rate you can go down to uh, the hertz you this particular monitor you want select it and then go hit apply once you for me for hitting of supply with the uh, screen record it's turns off the screen report but uh, yeah after you hit reply and it says you know revert changes and stuff like that hit ok then you can see here the refresh rate is now back up to 144 hertz As we go back to the uh, monitor there, you'll probably see it shows up as HDMI and also running at 144 hertz. Now, if you still have that sort of problem where it might be still running at like 60 hertz, it might be worth actually just having a look at your uh, HDMI cable. It might be a bit of an older cable there, and you know, as much as the with the uh, USB, they have developed and you know got better HDMI cables as well. So it might be worth actually just purchasing a new HDMI cable. See if that helps. So, yep. See so the subscribing down below. Until next time, have a good one.